Hi. So for this question then, we're told that Sarah uses 6 grams in the first experiment, 7.8 grams in the second experiment, and the amounts form an arithmetic regression. And we've got to find then the total amount of chemical she uses for 30 experiments. So what we've got to do then is total 6 plus 7.8 plus and so on, all the way up to the 30th experiment, the amount she uses. I'll just call it L. Now, this value here then, let's just put here, is the 30th term in this series. And what we've got then is an arithmetic series. I'm assuming that you're familiar with an arithmetic series. What we've got then is something where the first term is A, second term is a plus d, third term is a plus 2d, we're always adding on d each term, called the common difference. And when it comes to summing up n terms, this is given by Sn, it's given by this formula, n over 2 multiplied by twice the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So what is the common difference? What are we adding each time? Well, that common difference, d, is equal to 1.8. Okay, 6 plus 1.8 gives us that 7.8. And if we were to add 1.8 to the next term, we would get the third term in the uh, series here, and so on. So, therefore, what we've got here is the sum of the first 30 terms. And so, n is 30, we can put it into here and we get 30 divided by 2 times twice the first term, so it's going to be 2 times the first term, 6, plus n minus 1, so n was 30, so if we subtract 1 from that we're going to have 29 times the common difference, which is 1.8. And if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 963, 963 grams.